With Soul Calibur 2 polishing the traditional fighting genre to near perfection, Bloody Raw 4 drops its own brand of beastly transformations into the rocking pot. The main strategy behind this latest outing still lies in the proper use of your beast change, which provides a devastating special move once you've built up your beast gauge by attacking and evading assault. From here, it's possible to make the switch into your beastly alter ego, but so powerful is this special move, it'll turn you straight back into a human immediately afterwards. It's hardly taxing stuff, but it certainly helps to stop your brain from decaying as you mash away at the buttons. The Bloody Raw series has much to do if it's to raise its game to the levels of perfection we've grown used to. So far it's looking a nice effort with new characters and the usual sprinkling of game modes, but chances are Soul Calibur 2 will still have to be reigned supreme come next Christmas. Warthog's upcoming space shooter is a remake of the budget Battlestar Galactica sci-fi series we all know and love. We've got to warn the Galactica. Communications are being jammed. Assuming the role of the young space buck Adama, you'll be assigned to the Galactica and thrown into battle against those pesky Cylons and their evil imperious leader. And fans with fond memories of those overused special effects shots of banking colonial vipers will no doubt go weak at the knees at the prospect of flying these beauties, along with a variety of other exciting spacecraft. The chances of Adama sporting a 70s feathered hairdo and disco-style clothing is highly unlikely, but hopefully Battlestar Galactica will enjoy greater success than the ill-fated TV show. We'll let you know soon enough. Properly branded ESPN titles came our way this month, and for those of you still interested in National Hockey League, everything here has been painstakingly recreated. From the lineup of semi famous puck pounders that most of us will never have heard of, right down to the flecks of ice that spray up from all that swishing about. In fact, if you've seen it happen in an NHL arena proper, chances are you're going to see it here too. And if it can match the level of polish in EA's NHL 2003, then ESPN NHL Hockey could be an extremely promising title indeed. The guy's good with his glove anyway, but when he doesn't even have to move it because his positioning is so good, what a bonus. Now you take a look at the replay, you can see that's exactly true. You look at that. Next up is NFL football, and with the ESPN license in full effect, we can hopefully expect something a bit different this time. Not different in a sense that they've completely changed the rules of American football and started to make it more accessible to everyone outside the core sporting audience, you understand. But new features including first-person mode, crib system, new special moves and a revised challenge mode should win favour with the more experienced jocks among you. Green tags the missile and he's looking for room. Breaks free. With the likes of NBA Jam and Live 2004 adding weight to our review section this month, ESPN NBA Basketball has certainly got to play a mean game of ball if it's to avoid early retirement to the benches. One of the biggest complaints levelled at Sega's previous NBA titles was the severe lack of fun factor. But with more of an emphasis on extravagant fun and flamboyant style, this could be a promising title for those feeling the need to look cool shooting hoops.